This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Surgical trauma associated with a total knee arthroplasty leads to high amounts of postoperative blood loss and an increased need for blood transfusions. These transfusions put patients at risk for complications, such as bloodborne infections and circulatory overload. Intravenous administration of antifibrinolytic tranexamic acid has been shown to lower postoperative bleeding and reduce the need for blood transfusions. However, systemic administration of tranexamic acid has not been widely adopted for total knee arthroplasties due to a concern over thrombotic events, such as deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. An alternative solution to avoid these systemic concerns involves the topical application of tranexamic acid to the joint surfaces prior to closure. The Mayo Clinic and the Hospital for Special Surgery conducted a large randomized clinical trial to compare the efficacy of intravenous and topical administration of tranexamic acid on 640 patients undergoing primary elective unilateral total knee arthroplasty. All patients received the thromboembolic prophylaxis that was standard at their respective hospital, and the researchers tracked the patient's blood loss, drain output, transfusions, and complications. While the topical treatment group had greater calculated volumes of blood loss and drain output than the intravenous group, the clinically important result was that both groups had minimal blood loss, as well as thrombotic complication and blood transfusion rates of less than 2%. Thus, although the intravenous group showed less calculated volumes of blood loss and drain output than the topical treatment group, this difference was minimal and may not be clinically important, especially since both groups had similarly low transfusion rates. Owing to the low prevalence of thrombotic complications, the relative safety of one formulation over the other could not be definitively established.